there friends, Lindsay here, the Frugal Crafter. We're gonna do an art journal page today and I can't be fooling around because uh, kids are off from school today and um, I have one shot to do this <laughs> and have it ready for the mixed media fun segment on my blog on Saturday. So there you go, a little, uh, little inside info for ya. So excited, I just got off the phone with my friend Kathy from uh, Ask a Crafter fame and oh, we got our hotel booked for the West Springfield Heirloom Show and I'm so excited. It's our yearly mom's weekend, so it's going to be so much fun. So this is going to be a dance theme page. I started it off, it was not going well yesterday and I just kind of decided that I needed to put that in bed for a while and uh, I slapped some gesso on it. And I spread it around with a palette knife and I just let it be because sometimes you just have to have to leave something alone for a bit and come back to it later when you're not feeling so uh, so upset by it. And um, I just, you know, I've got stuff left over on my um, on my table and I just kind of felt like just playing with supplies and having a good time. So this technique is called Stamp in a Hand. I'm working on a Canson Mixed Media journal, which uh, was provided to me by Oriental Trading Company. Thank you guys. Put a link below where you can find that same journal. It's about $10 and um, I really like it. So the stamp in the hand technique I really like because you can, um, like this is a big kind of square. So I like this because I can get a very random background and not have weird edges that I need to, uh, to mess with. So I just wanted to get a little bit of something in there. I'm using some Ranger Archival because I know I'm using Juicy Water, water Media on top and I want to make sure that it's going to stay where I put it. Um, I got this stamp a long time ago at Martin's for 99 cents. I love this little uh, dance dance feet there. Like the old-fashioned, uh, you know, Arthur Miller, <laughs> teach yourself how to dance. I got one of those videos once. Um, it was like a ballroom one. It wasn't Arthur Miller. It was, it was somebody else, but it was the same idea. There we go. Oh, that's cute. I don't think I've ever inked this up. Isn't that sad? That's an awfully cute stamp. I think I need to stamp it again, actually. So I got some, uh, I, I splurged. I had myself a little splurge when I was doing some uh, ordering the other day for a framing com a customer. And I ordered myself um, the full set of ink tents blocks. I haven't in hod for like a year and a half. Oh my gosh, since it came out, I think. And, um, and so I finally bit the bullet. I got them for like, I don't know, a third of the cost. It was crazy. It was a crazy deal. I couldn't pass it up. So, um, so yeah, I was using, I was playing with some of those. I'm glad I did because I had the 12 set, which is so generously gifted to me from uh, my YouTube friend Maureen. Um, but I was just hemming and hawing and I'm glad I did because I find with this broader color, it is a little bit more useful. So oh, there you, there you go. Just wanted to let you know that. And I think I want to give my little girl here a skirt and just so happens I still have my paper mark ribbon out. So I think I will play with that a little bit. And I think what I'm going to do is just kind of do a little bit of pleating and I'm going to stick it with hot glue. Now you do have to be careful because organza is very thin. So you don't want to burn your hands off. Don't burn your hands off! Oh, I haven't said that in a long time. I'm feeling rather giddy today. I think it's just the fact that I know I have a hotel room for the for the Springfield show. I was very nervous about it. I'm not a very good traveler. I'm really not. I'm very st stressy. Stressy when I travel. So much fun. I'm a great travel companion. <laughs> oh, I feel so bad for Kathy now. She's gonna have to put up with that. So will Cindy and Tracy. <laughs> but oh well. I'll try. I'm usually not stressed when I'm when I'm going. It's just all the lead up. I'm a complete nut. <laughs> the mean streets of Springfield, Massachusetts. That's gonna be fun. So if you are planning on going to the Springfield, Massachusetts heirloom show, make sure you say howdy if you see me there. You'll probably see, I'll probably be like um, hanging out the Lost Coast booth, <laughs> bothering Linda. <laughs> oh, what fun. Or bothering the green sneakers people. <laughs> so many people to bother there. <laughs> yeah, I'll be the one with the restraining order over by the Lost Coast Designs booth. <laughs> All right, so there, oh, that's kind of cute. So uh, somebody left, I'm so sorry, I can't remember exactly, because a couple people mentioned how cool the quote was too. Um, somebody mentioned the quote on another of the art journaling videos and the quote was, if you stumble, make it part of the dance. And I thought that's really, I really want to use that quote. That's really fun. So that's what we're going to use today. I don't exactly even know how I'm going to put it on there yet, actually, to tell you that God's honest. I have no idea. So I like this paper too. Maybe I'll put a little bit of that at the top. This is from um, the uh, Fresh Floral Stack, I think, Die Cuts with a View. I really like that paper. I was using it the other day in some uh, 
and a card making video. And that brings me to another point. So I use some penny black stamps. They're absolutely adorable. I'm going to use one of them on this page here. And somebody left a comment saying, I, how do you know, like when you're making a card, how do you know if it's okay to sell that handmade card? And I said, well, most companies have what's called an angel policy and that, um, and it tells you that, you know, you can sell cards with the stamps, with their, with their stamps, but you know, they have to be handmade. It can't be, um, mechanically reproduced, you know, yada, yada, yada. Basically the, the thing is to keep in mind, just keep in, in, you know, the intent of the company. What does it, does it, does what you're doing help or, or hinder that company? So, um, and that's kind of like the rule of thumb that, that, that I follow. So if I was to stamp out a bunch of images and sell those images, that would be wrong. Cause that, that would be, people wouldn't be buying the stamps because of that. But if I show you how to color a really cute image and I think that would make you want to buy the stamp image more than it would anything else, you know, I don't know. So I would just go, go ahead and look, you know, try to think of the intent of the company, but yes, you can go online, search angel policy and your, the stamp company's name that you want to, um, that you want to use to for handmade cards and see what their angel policy says. Most companies are thrilled with using their stamps uh, for cards for sale or charity. Some are not, and it's good to know that information, especially before you buy. Um, and sometimes they change your policy, so it's a good idea to check every so often. So I would do something with this. I really like this leftover from my water bottle bracelet yesterday. I think maybe just a little border strip there would be kind of cute. Wicked cunning. Wicked cunning. And we'll start right up there. I'm just going to go like halfway down. I'm going to get it started here. And I don't want to burn my hands off, so I'm just going to kind of hold. I'm um, just holding the, the end of the strip there just to keep it. Um, I don't do too many really lumpy, bumpy pages in my art journal because I want the journal to close at some point. Uh, sometimes those lumpy ones, just like when you're scrapbooking, the lumpy ones will, uh, will make things uh, difficult to close. There we go. I'm almost out of glue stick there. All right, and then um, I'll just use my fabric scissors to trim it up. I'm not going to worry about frayed edges in my journal. I mean, it's going to, yeah, this is woven cotton. It's going to fray, but I'm not going to worry about it. You know, you can't change. Sometimes you, you can't change what things are going to do, but you can change how you react to them. All right, so I need to do my, uh, I feel like I want a little, you know, something, something here. So I'm going to add some ink tents back over my image that I pretty much obliterated yesterday because I was not happy with that. I'm going to draw my face again here. Not my face, this girl's face, I should say. This ballerina. And ooh, my computer says hello. Facebook says hello, Lindsay. All right. And just kind of maybe do a little eyelashiness eyelashiness. There we go. Just a little hint. And how about we give this lady some rosy cheeks. We'll, we'll blend that out with a little water brush. Yeah. My kids, I, I told them they had to clean their room. Today's, oh, they get a day. They get a long weekend. They get a four day memorial weekend. Isn't that nice? And um, their room looked like, I don't know, like there was some sort of third world country dispute going on in there. I told them they had to clean their rooms before they could, uh, they could watch any television or play any computer games. And, um, so of course they were, they were also happy to work together and, uh, get that task accomplished this morning. I don't know who gets punished more when I tell the children they can't watch TV. <laughs> Honest to God, I don't know. Um, so they've, they've, uh, been working on that task. So who knows what sort of noises we'll hear coming from upstairs. There was some earlier injustice about whose turn it was to put away the laundry. That's the thing when you get kids sharing a room. Uh, that comes up quite a bit and whose mess it is. I remember I shared a room with my sister. I know exactly all about it. And this person needs a mouth for goodness sake. That's just going to do a little, just a little, just a little mark. You don't have to be too fussy about it. I think the hint of it being there is more important than the actual like detailed drawing in a lot of cases. And I think I'll do something with that shoe. That shoe should be pink, don't you think? Um, I have to be careful. I pick up the ink tents blocks with wet fingers. <laughs> it wants to, uh, wants to bleed every which way. And I kind of like this, you know, I am, um, I get asked a lot, do should I get the blocks? Should I get the pencils? It, that really depends on your style of working. I think the pencils are super 
versatile. The um, the blocks are great too, but they're a little bit less. You're gonna get a little bit less detail with them, but you get more, you get a lot. The colors probably about the same because these are shorter than the pencils, so you know probably get about the same because the pencils are like three times longer. I don't know, um, but uh, you know I think it has to do with how you like to work. All right, if you stumble, make it part of the dance. Let's see what shall I use. Let's try this. Um, let me. I want to do the word dance big. Not with that marker. Boy, howdy, that one needs a little alcohol in it. That's what happens with those guys sometimes, quite often. I don't have the new ones. I should have waited. D, A, N, C, E. That's going to go right in her face. I'm going to have to do a little black. Um, stumble. S, T, U, M, B, L, E. Great, great, uh video from Jenny Belly this week. She did a video on not comparing yourself to other people. Uh, so that's something you might want to check out if you're, if you have problems with that, you know, if you stumble, make the dance. And then actually, I wonder, I wonder how this would look if I kind of overlay these colors. Feels uh, needs to be a little darker, I think. Let's try something. Let's try something a little darker. This is terribly entertaining, isn't it? No, probably it isn't, but... <sighs> Alright, so I've had some people ask me about my gardening uh, progress. I've really gotten cold feet on the gardening front. I'm really afraid, because I know me and I tend to be lazy, that um, I think that if I, if I, I think I will drop the ball on the garden. You stumble. There we go. Um, I'm really, I'm really afraid of this. I do not want to start a garden and then kind of crap out, lose interest, and have a big weedy mess in my front yard because that's where all the sun is. So, and that's you know, I think the safest place between chickens, dogs, and five baseball playing children. That's the safest, you know, highest chance of success area in my domain. But I think I might start with a couple pots of vegetables. I think that. Gardening, even square foot, might be a little out of my range of ability. I don't know why. My gosh, my mother can grow things. My sister can grow things. My grandparents were farmers. I don't know why. I just can't seem to wrap my head around growing a vegetable garden. It terrifies me. It's like traveling. <laughs> it terrifies me. Oh, where'd that go? That was right here. And, um, well, you know, I was thinking I was going to put these cute little ballerina mice in here. No, I don't know. I don't think so. I think I'll save that for something else. Um... I'll stick this down here. Yeah, why not? I think that would look kind of cool. Now, I don't think hot glue is the best glue for this, but it's there and it's hot and it's going to dry immediately. So there you have it. That's why I'm using it. I like to mix it up. I like to mix it up and I'm in a hurry. And then I will trim off the excess there. You know what? I think that's just fine for an art journal page. I want to thank Oriental Trading again for supplying me with the mixed media book. Um, please, if you have any questions, go ahead and leave a comment. And, um, no, I think that's about it. Thumbs up and subscribe if you like this video. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, as always, happy crafting.